What's going on everyone? Gourmet here. Today I bring you guys a simple yet overpowered 433. And when I say overpowered, it is overpowered in the way of being able to let a team that is not supposed to be contending for European football whatsoever, meaning Euro Cup, Euro Cup 2, Champions League, any of that. And will allow them to compete for it along with the bigger sides being able to dominate the league that they are in. So I'll be bringing this to you guys today. Now before we get in to today's video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I will be linking the tactic in the Discord, which will be in the description down below. So make sure if you want to download the tactic, it will be in the Discord down below. All you got to do, take the file, drag it in to your tactics folder, and boom, it'll be right there. Converted to whatever language you need it in as well. Also, I stream over on Twitch Monday through Thursday. I'm switching up my schedule over there. So I now stream Monday through Thursday. We are currently doing a save with Wrexham AFC. It's been a lot of fun. We are currently in Skybet League 1 and are looking pretty, pretty solid to have a playoff run this season. So if you guys like to check it out, please feel free to do so. I stream at twitch.tv slash whitegourmet. Now, without further ado... Let's get into the video. All right, so like I said, it is a simple yet OP433, which is what the name will be in the Discord simple OP433. We start off having a advanced forward on attack, two inverted wingers on attack, two box-to-box -box midfielders on support, a deep line playmaker on defend, two wingbacks on support, two central defenders on defend, and a sweeper keeper on defend. Like I said, it's fairly simple. There's nothing too extravagant about it. Now, with player instructions, we do have the advanced forward shooting more often with the inverted wingers on both sides. We have them aiming their crosses at the far post. So the left winger aiming at the far post on the right side, right winger aiming at the far post on the left side now box box midfielder wise they both dribble s get further forward and move into channels the deep line playmaker we left as is the y well, not the y backs the wing backs they cross more often their crosses are aimed at center they dribble s and mark a specific position now the left wing back is going to mark the right attacking midfielder and then your right wing back is going to mark the left attacking midfielder because that is who they line up against and then central defender wise we left as is uh, along with the sweeper keeper now it is set to an attacking mentality the attacking width is set to wide we pass into space focus the play down the left and the right and we play out from our defense we work the ball into the box, slightly shorter passing, higher tempo, and dribble less. With mixed crosses, you can set it to whichever one you prefer, but mixed crosses does work pretty well. Uh, now, we do counter press, and then we hold the shape just because we don't want to be caught out, especially with a team like this with FC Laurent, where they are supposed to finish in 20th, bottom of the league, and they did not finish anywhere near that. And I feel that holding the shape definitely, definitely helped them be solid defensively. Uh, now, we take long kicks when distributing from the goalkeeper. Now, when we are out of possession, we have got a higher line of engagement and a higher defensive line. We have more urgent pressing intensity with prevent short goalkeeper distribution and stay on feet. And then when we go to our set pieces, our corners are the elite set piece tactics that I have made multiple videos on, which I will link one of them on the screen somewhere. Uh, but you can also check that out and download it in the Discord as well, uh, which we swing the ball in to the near post. It's either going to hit the man at attack near post or lurk near post. Set up like so on both sides. Slightly different on the left side, but works the exact same on either side for free kicks 
we have got it. I might actually be, no, I'm not blocking it. Cool. All right, so this is how we set up for direct free kicks, direct small chance of shot, indirect wide, and indirect deep. It is set up the exact same on both sides, so do not worry. You don't have to do anything special on either side like with the corners but this one is set up the exact same on both the right and the left. Uh, and then throw-ins, we go with shorter throws. So now let's move on over to seeing how the team did in the competition, which we use two different teams, so I'll be showing you how both teams performed. All right, so like I said, we ended up testing out with FC Lorient, but the other team that we used was Paris Saint-Germain so that we could see if it works with a top dog or with just a one of those upper echelon type clubs such as PSG, AS Monaco, Olympic Lyon, uh, so that we can see if it can be used for anybody and it can be used for anybody. Uh, so PSG, of course, won the league. It's PSG. But FC Lorient, like I said, supposed to finish in 20th. They finished 12 spots ahead of where... They were predicted and they finished in eighth and honestly they were just a few points away from finishing in a european competition spot like it's absolutely insane uh so I, i'm very very happy with how they performed uh now going in to team overview psg obviously with the most points per game because they won the league which it's kind of weird because Lorient finishing in eighth aren't even in the top eight. So find that kind of interesting. But most goals for PSG had 80 in the league. Lorient had 61. So first and third. Love seeing that. Most shots for PSG with 665. Few shots against PSG once again to 90. And at second best pass completion. We were not in that. However, we were in most possession. PSG had 52% possession. You will notice that PSG are in a lot more of these, and that is because they have a higher quality team and, to be honest, smarter players, better players. So it is going to look slightly better for PSG, but just know eventually, like, if you were at a team like FC Lorient or a team like Fulham, the, the lower teams in the top leagues, eventually you're going to get players like they have at PSG, and you're going to be able to to dominate exactly how PSG dominated this league. Uh, most tackles won, we were not in. Most triples made, however, PSG was in second with 138. Most shutouts, Kaylor Navas came in first. I mean, well, not there, but he did come in first player-wise because he was the starting goalkeeper. And then fewest conceded, PSG with 19. Uh, so, I mean, that was unreal. Because PSG are a very offensive focused team, not really defensive. Uh, but now going into player overview, we have got three players in the top area, four goals. So Mauro Icardi had 21. He was tied in first with Florian Talvin. In third, or well, yeah, joint third, uh, Tara Moffi, or Mofi, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But from FC Lorient, he had 20, and then Kylian Mbappe had 17. Most assists, we've got Neymar with 12. Hubelong Mendez, that's one hell of a name. From FC Lorient, he had 11, and then Angel Di Maria had 9 for PSG. Uh, most shots, Mufi, uh, or I mean, uh, Mufi, Mofi, Icardi, and Mbappe were in there. Player of the matches, Mbappe was in there with 6, joint 2nd. Uh, Rafinha had, was in fifth for most key passes, best pass complete, best pass completion. There we go. I can English. He had 96%. So I mean, joint first with four other players. Uh, most tackles out one. We were not in. Most dribbles made. However, we were. Kylian Mbappe with the most by a landslide with 68. Armand Lariente with 33 from FC Laurent. And then Neymar with 32. Most shutouts, Kaylor Navas. Like I said previously with the team for most shutouts, Kaylor Navas <laughs> led the league. He did because he had every single one. Um, and then fewest conceded, Kaylor Navas with 19. Uh, so, I mean, the, the team was absolutely phenomenal. 
And I mean, looking at some of these down here, I mean, Mafia and Icardi with the uh, shoot more often, 76 shots on target. I, I like that. 69 shots on target. I like that. That is a very, very high percentage of just opportunity for your teams. Now, interceptions made. It's great that the top two were both on the teams that we did because Levin Grzawa had 102 and Vincent Legoff had 92. And then block-wise, yeah, I'm not blocking that, making sure. Um, Vincent Legoff also had 116, but possession one I am blocking, but we had all four players that it shows. Uh, Mendez had 344, Legoff had 337, Krzawa had 333, and Gra Gravelon, I believe is how you say it, had 327. Uh, so, I mean, we, we were really, really good uh, with just outright performance. Uh, now, going into the squad and how we did, it, it's, it's not flashy by any means. It, it's a tactic that is going to get the job done. And if you want to make certain tweaks here and there, definitely feel free to do so. But... Mafi had 22 goals, one assist. Boysguard had 15 and 6. Lariente had 9 and 6. Gerbich had 6 and 2. Wissa had 4. Gra Gravelon, yeah, Gravelon had 4 and 1. Abergel had 2 and 2. Mendez had 2 and 11. And Laporte had 1 goal. Um, Mankol Dolt? That this name has some, ch not this name, this team has some challenging names, and I'm challenging myself with speaking English right now because I'm not doing a very good job of it. But he had four assists. Uh, Logov had eight assists. Chalaba had six. Uh, Lemoyne had five. And Marvo had one. Now going over to PSG. Mbappe had 27 goals and eight assists. Marquinhos had 12 goals and 7 assists. He was the main focus for corners. So, I mean, it shows that the corners definitely work. Kempembe had 5 and 3. Rafinha, 4 and 13. Neymar, 13 and 14. Angel Di Maria, 5 and 13. Uh, Kurzawa, 1 and 10. Dagba had an assist, which I love seeing that. Icardi with 33 and 7. Paredes with 5 and 7. Florenzo with 2 and 8. Idrissa Ganagay had 4 and 2. Juan, Berda, Juan Bernat had uh, 3 and 1. Pereira had 1 and 1. Ander Herrera had 1 and 3. Diallo with 2 assists along with Verratti. Uh, Sarabia and Drax were each had a goal. And then Moise Keane had a goal and an assist. So, I mean, overall, everyone is contributing. Like I said, it's not the flashiest of tactics. But, I mean, with how they performed i mean psg only had 89 points and they were not playing in any sort of flashy way N nothing crazy goal wise or anything it is a simple yet op 433 so definitely give it a go definitely try it out i'm thinking about actually trying it out with my Wrexham save so if you guys would like to check that out like i said link to the twitch will be in the description but if you guys want to download this tactic it will be in the discord uh, but yeah, that is all for this video. If you guys did happen to enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.